Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego could not be born. There was no smell of fire on them. Their heart was entered. Their gowns and robes were entered. <laughs> because they trusted in their God. What consumes others has no power to consume you. Because your father is a consuming fire. Your father is a consuming fire. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, tonight will place a mark of exemption on your life. A thousand may fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but they shall not come nigh thee. They were amazed to see three men came out of the fire, the furnace without a smell of fire on them. No smell of fire. No smell. Your life will never smell affliction again. <laughs> Your life will never smell affliction again. <laughs> that is just trying to look at the no limit power of faith. The no limit power of faith. Until your faith fails, your command remains in place. There is no irreversible case with faith. They say, by now he's thinking. He says, stop that. If thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. And a four-day-old dead came back to life. <laughs> Amen. Somebody was crushed in a motor accident on the way to Abuja at Lokojas in the year 2000. And the container on that trailer fell on his car and pressed him dead. So they struggled to bring him out and carry him to the, what is it, um, mortuary. There were so many dead that day, they couldn't get a room for him inside the mortuary, so they put him at the door. He was listening to a tape of the February Breakthrough Seminar before the incident. My son came on the pulpit. The tape was playing on in the region of dead. When I said, maybe lift up your hands, the hands shook. <laughs> From the region of, he said, the day cometh when the dead yes. shall hear the voice of the Son of Man, and they that hear shall live. No, no, you are alive here. Whatever has gone bizarre in your system, as you are listening to this word, God is rearranging it now. <laughs> Amen. And so he came out and stood on this altar to share his testimony. The word was speaking in the region of death. Hallelujah. You know why? The voice of man. The voice of Jesus. You know, it's the word. So any word you receive and believe, keep speaking under any condition. A woman in Abuja, in Abuja church then, had this child that died at the National Hospital. And so, and they said, she go and bury the child. He brought the child to her church, to the church. That's, that's where she belongs. And then, I came in that night briefly to pass through the service. I never knew somebody died and never knew. And now that was about one o'clock in the afternoon. And so she was in the third floor of the children's church. And I came out, it's a healing man that said, is there no bomb in Gilead? Life surged in the dead child at that wall. 
as you are hearing this word today, I see life surging inside you. <laughs> when the child turned six, they brought her to, to me here to see. Life sought for. There is no impossible case with faith. There is no impossible case with faith. There is no impossible, don't let any devil harass you. There, every death sentence hanging over anyone's life from any expert saying your life is over, you have one month to live, you have 22 days to live. I don't know where they got the calendar from. Now, every death sentence that is passed over anyone's life is reverted tonight. Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. <laughs> you see how cancer of the uterus gave birth to a set of twins. <laughs> see how the womb they were going to remove. How many had that testimony? The womb now contained and was able to carry a set of twins to the point of delivery. Whatever has been dubbed impossible in your life is turned to a testimony tonight. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. You cannot have faith and fear at the same time. Why are you afraid? How is it that you have no faith? Wherever fear is, it's a proof that faith is not there. Wherever fear is, it is a proof that faith is not there. You can't have fear and faith at the same time. Fear and faith can never occupy the same space. It's like light and darkness at the same time. <laughs> So you have a faith barometer. <laughs> Great fear equals no faith. Little faith equals little fear. No fear equals faith. No fear at all, at all, equals great faith. Amen. No fear at all, at all, equals great faith. Many years ago, they said, you have high blood pressure. I said, not me. He said, look at it. I said, it's not necessary. I said, I cannot have. Not I don't, I don't have. I can't. Can you test me positive for pregnancy? And then I'm now bothered when I've not lost my mind. Infirmity before your bad eye said you saw something else. You know what I mean? I have not fallen sick 40 years. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, anybody can be angry, and I'm sure the devil is angry. And I want to keep him very angry <laughs> because I won't see sickness till I meet Jesus. No agent of the devil can dare my steps. No. I'm seated far. No. It is such encounters we have on this mountain. God will reduce your fear to below zero level. As he begins to unveil to us the mist of your faith, that puts you supernaturally in command of the affairs of life. Supernaturally in command of the affairs of life. That's where we're going. Therefore, faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. Faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. 
Faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. We have never borrowed. We have never begged as a commission for 38 years plus. We have never called special meetings for special collections. We've never reached out to anybody on telephone under heaven. Can you help God? <laughs> that you just call the man. You just made the man grow big on it. His head will be bigger than his neck. Excuse me, God is in need of something. Can you assist him? If a trailer is falling, can you help him? <laughs> he says, my friend's trailer. No, you mustn't fall. You will fall with the trailer. If God can help himself, leave him. Praise God. <laughs> Live it. Yet, project every day. Maybe now every second. Faith is the master key to a world of unlimited possibilities. Take those limits off your life. You are not here to struggle for survival. You are here to make many live. You are here to be a succor of many destinies. Yes. You are here to be a helper of many destinies. Yes. Take that limit off your life. The works that I do, your Savior said, you will do also. Yes, and greater works than this. He came here 2,000 years plus. His impact is in growing dimension up to now. There are many people here after your journey on earth is over. If Jesus studies, your impact will remain in growing dimension. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Very serious humor. Somebody said, Do you know that Bishop has oil fields? Say, is it uh, basketball fee or football fee? You don't know covenant. You don't know covenant. The mystery of the covenant empower believers for wealth. Power to get wealth. You don't steal. You don't play games. I don't have a dime of this church money in my pocket. I'll never give you of his money and call it my money. You better wake up. The feed I have is more powerful yes, yes, than yes, yes, any yes. gold mine. Yes, more powerful than any nonsense or feed. I'm telling you the truth. I bought that feed March 22nd, 1982. Amen. He said, buy the truth and sell it now. So I bought it. I bought it. So you want to see where my uh, feed is? <laughs> Amen. It's 818. Amen. You can go and find out what that is. <laughs> That's where the feed is. Many people today around the world are exploring that field. And God is changing their stories and dimensions that nobody can explain. I don't care how smart you are. If you are not in that covenant, the struggle continues. If you are not in that covenant, if I don't know anything, I know the first billionaire in the history of America came out of that covenant. John D. Rockefeller. A title from his first paycheck became one of the largest employers of labor in the land. Walking in the mystery that empowers for wealth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Many will rise here. Amen. Far greater than Father Abraham. You are one of them. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Yeah. 